Now we have all the tools and framework we needed for Elasticsearch. We also installed few plugins which we will use in Elasticsearch. So now it's time to start our daemons and to do that we can open the terminal and use a new window and just type Elasticsearch enter. So this will start the Elasticsearch and load up all the processes needed for it to function. As you can see, it has already identified our node, ESH node, and it is starting that node. All right, so it, it may take few minutes and then we can look it up in browser using this URL. So just copy this and open a URL and enter okay so it's still running okay so let's give it a few seconds let's see what's happening all right so still loading all the indices okay all right, so we have our head plugin up and running in a browser and it shows you your node, ESH node, okay? And it has all different indices. These are different indices. We will cover them in the exercises later. But for now, just look at this, that we have a node and we have a different indices. Everything here is green, which is good. These are shards, we'll cover them in later sections. So all looks good here. Then also look at this health. This is your cluster health. You only have one machine, so it is telling you that your cluster health is in yellow and we'll understand what yellow means in later chapters. But for now, just remember that our cluster was in yellow when we started it. Okay. And here is the name of uh, your cluster as we defined in the configuration file. All right, so pretty simple. We'll go more into it when we do exercises and I'll show you how to look up the data in head plugin.